Hi friends, welcome to the video tutorial series and in this video we will talk about the similarity search and under this uh, similarity search uh, you know the tool identifies that which candidate feature are most similar or most dissimilar to one or more input features based on the feature attributes down is something about me. I'm Dr. Zubar Islam, working in the Department of Geography, Adigrat University. So I am open with my software and I have the data left hand side and the right hand side is the R2 box. So first let me introduce you my data here. These are the urban centers of Ethiopia uh, and these urban centers uh, are having some data you can see here I have the data of each urban center like the population the built-up area and uh, the GDP data and some another environmental uh, environment related data so we will find that we will give some you know uh, uh, information i mean uh, input and we will find the similar similar places based on the input feature so let's see uh, what is there in the tool this is the similarity search tool under the mapping clusters so here these are the input features to match what are the features to match means you have to give your samples here uh, you will provide a layer containing the input features to match okay and the candidate features here this is the second layer it will contain the candidate feature from which matches will be obtained okay and what happens actually you know often that uh, your input feature uh, contains uh, both the feature to match and the candidate feature then what you will do to separate it the best way is what you will do here suppose uh, you want the the you want the urban center like similar urban center like adigrat like uh, maybe Shire, maybe like uh, Aksum, like Adwa. Yeah. Okay, and maybe Mukro. So you have taken the five urban centers as a sample, and you want the similar urban centers in another places. so what is the best way is you select the samples right click go to the selection and create layer from selected features once you have you have got your samples here okay and now these samples should not be should not be in the candidate features okay otherwise you know uh, uh, means if you will search the same features and you are giving the same features in the candidate feature it's illogical so for that as you can see here what you can do here very simple right click selection and switch selection okay now your objective will be fulfilled so now what you will do similarity search now what you can do is the you will give the input features to match okay these are the samples you are giving and the candidate features here you are giving is the all the feature okay automatically it will take only selected feature it will not take the features which are unselected because the sample feature should not be here in the candidate features 
otherwise you know it will give you it may give you the features which are very similar means the same features it will give you so you have to eliminate uh, from the process so to elimination you have done uh, the things this way and the name is similarity feature but here you can choose the most similar most different that is the least similar or you can find the both also so here uh, you can choose anyone I'm choosing first here most similar what is the method we'll discuss one by one first I am taking the attribute values method okay how many numbers number of results you want here by default it is 10 but if you are giving 0 it will uh, count means each and every candidate feature but here I, I, I want only 10 you can make 15 also but by default it is 10 what is the attribute feature so the good thing is you can give more than one attribute here I want uh, I want something like uh, like 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 uh, let's take some interesting that is the GDP so I want 10 cities 10 places in Ethiopia which are similar to these five places in terms of GDP means most similar so I have uh, given all then thereafter I will do it okay so it has calculated the result and you can see here that these are the places the dark blue 1 to 3 are the most similar and less this less than 1 to 3 is 3 to 5 of course thereafter like this you can understand you can see the names of names of the places also like uh, uh, you know if uh, uh, you will find the attribute which I have given only one attribute you can give more than one attribute also so thereafter you, you can see here you know like this you are getting the similarity rank some squared value differences and the candidate ID and here you can see the GDP okay so GDP is uh, uh, around 500 uh, 3 56 million around 56 around 56 56 million 56 to 58 million okay because uh, uh, you know what is uh, this actually how it calculate it uh, uh, you know when we select the attribute values for the match method parameter the tool first standardized all of the attribute of interest standardization I think it will be clear to you it uses mean and standard deviation and values then it standardizes first okay and uh, uh, thereafter for each candidate for each candidate for each candidate it then subtracts the standardized value from those of the target thereafter it will go for squares of the differences and add all the differences thereafter square the differences together and this uh, you know the resultant sum uh, becomes the similarity index for the candidate so where the difference is least where the difference is least it is most similar and as it increases it moves to the dissimilarity so top 10 similar features are here it has given you the top 10 similar features okay like this
you can give more than one attribute also and you will find very interesting result and it help you because uh, the applications are more of this tool uh, let's take more than one feature here what about this oh because uh, the selection is very important okay generally what happened you have to take care that uh, you know the common mistake uh, when all inputs come from a single data set to uh, means uh, you forget to switch the selection so you should not forget to switch the selection okay let's uh, make it again what were the features i took uh, the i took the share axum adwa adigrat and fukro so i took the share axum adwa sorry axum share adigrat when you will uh, press the shift button and you will select then it will add your selection and where is the mucro yeah here okay i found the same and thereafter do not forget to uh, switch selection okay otherwise your result will not be because in the process it will include the samples also and now what i will do is i will give the same samples here and the candidate features are all most similar i want attribute value i want if if you will give zero suppose here zero then it will give uh, the result the all towns okay the all towns except the samples if you make it zero but uh, i do not uh, wanna uh, zero here then what i will do is i will give the population and i can give the built up area and i will give the gdp so these are three related population if population is more the build up area should be higher and gdp should also be higher moving in the same direction and three are related also so based on these three information i want the similar uh, three towns in ethiopia do it okay you can see here this is the result window which is giving the information also so based on these three information you have got uh, the places okay because i have added the information that is why it is different from the previous result okay so these are the towns you can see the name can see the name they are the is there and yeah one two three is you can just make the is there and sigma is there and yeah very near to there is the alamata yeah alamata is there alamata is there which is having a similar you know the built up area of these towns similar population and gdp so this was uh, when we are taking more than one attribute and there are another methods also we can do uh, with another methods also so let's see with another methods
what we will do is we will take the similarity search here the samples are the same and candidate features are all and the yeah i need most similar the method is ranked attributed value okay number of results i want then my attributes of interests maybe the population 2015 and the build up area of 2015 and i can get the gdp also okay so in the before uh, previous analysis i gave the build up area per capita okay here i'm giving the build up area as a total so i have done it all do it okay you will find the results so we got the result here and the results are based on uh, ranking so you know when we are giving the ranked attribute values uh, for the match uh, so in this method what happens the tool will begin by ranking each of the attributes of the interest okay here it will be done by ranking both for the target features and all of the candidate features so now let's see the result the most similar as per the ranks most similar as per the ranks top three most similar are Here, you know it is giving you one to five are the samples which we have given and here these are the results okay 10 and first is first top three are here and what are the places you can give the name this is SEMA and this is Sigma And this is Hatero. So based on these theory, we have got the result. And this is based on the ranks. Okay. So if you will read the uh, help part of uh, the RGS of this tool, you will you will get much more information, and it is a very good. Uh, you know. They have given in a very uh, in a very good way so so attribute you know the what happened the, for each candidate then sum the square differences for each attribute in relation to the target feature uh, uh, then uh, uh, the sum of uh, the squared rank differences for all uh, of the attributes of interest become the similarity index where you know uh, uh, once all candidates have been processed 
candidates are ranked from a small index to the largest index. So if you will see here, the index, uh, you know, the sum of the square differences here, it is the least square differences, 662. So it, this is one. As it increases, consequently, the similarity ranks also increases. And now we'll talk about the third one. The third one is a little different. And that is a very good one. Uh, from the viewpoint of uh, your objectives, maybe. Let's see, because oh, I have, you know, unselected. So please, please, please do not forget switch the selection otherwise your result will, may not be correct so let's take uh, shire let's take uh, the shire then adva and aksum okay let me take shire then take Aksum, Adva, Adigrat, and Vukrom. Five places. Then switch selection. Switch selection. And after switch selection, what you can do? Again, similarity search. Go to samples and you have to choose the candidate features. Use theory. And now the method. Okay. The method is attribute profile. It's very interesting, okay. The attribute profile. Here, uh, the attribute profile, uh, let's see the result first here, let me take, uh, you know, you have to give at least two attributes in this case. So I am giving the population, I am giving the built up area, and I am giving the GDP during 2015. Then do it okay. You got the result and uh, you know uh, the result is here also but you so let's see. These are the places okay. And how it is different from REST 1 and 2 methods. Actually, you know, the profile here, the matter is profile. So as you can see here, uh, these are the three parameters. One is population, second GDP, third built up area. So it will not take uh, into account the, you know, the, the, the means the profile should be the same okay where population if population is increasing or if population is decreasing in the same way GDP should also decrease in the same way built up area should also decrease the profile should be the same okay it is it should not be like uh, the population, if it is uh, uh, like this, and on the another side, if it is uh, GDP is less, and you know the from the target it is very high. So here the major thing is the important thing is is the profiles. In the same way, all these three parameters should increase or 
degrees. So here, uh, what happens? What tool is doing? Uh, tool, you know, the tool first is standardizing all of the attributes of interest. The tool is uh, the tool is uh, first what it is doing. It is uh, uh, st standardizing here also. Okay. It then uses cosine similarity mathematics to compute the vector of the standardized attributes for each candidate to the vector of the standardized attribute for the target features being matched. So cosine similarity is not concerned with the matching of the attribute magnitudes, very important. I'm repeating here, cosine similarity is not concerned with the with the matching of the attribute magnitudes, but rather this method focuses on the relationship among the attributes. Okay, If you create a profile of the standardized attribute in the vectors being compared, uh, the target and one of the candidate, you might see very similar profile or very different profile. Okay, So here it will give you the similar profile like this, the result of similar profile, similar profile. Sometimes you, in this way, in, the, in such type of method, people are interested in looking the different, means dissimilarity, okay? Because it has a potential application. So, as you can see, it, it is giving you the result like this. Yeah, here it, it is giving you based on these three information. The place is uh, Bericha Korepta. If my pronunciation is not correct, I'm sorry. Okay. Zoom to layer. And here the another is Gui. Gui here, another town. Which is similar to, in profile, in similar to the similar to the what we can say is similar to these five towns of my sample so this tool is uh, i will suggest to the students please uh, explore this tool uh, change your parameters then observe the result and this tool has a high more applications okay Sometimes you might use the similarity search to, to find other cities that are just like your own city in terms of population, education. Here I gave the five cities. You can give the only one city. And what are the similar cities uh, similar to your cities in terms of the proximity to the specific recreational opportunities. So when this is the proximity, then you can, uh, you know, derive your uh, data and you can give some kind of, you know, the distances and these values will help you to identify the proximities. And the local officials also, they may be interested to promote their city to potential businesses in order to increase the tax-based revenues. And the similarity search tool will help them uh, to identify other cities like uh, like 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 theirs. So they they can compare themselves with regard to you know to attract uh, or uh, regard to the you know the attractor attributes. So. Uh, so there are many another applications which can be used in the business, in the commerce, in the regional development and planning. Uh, and this tool uh, can help uh, in the geospatial analysis in different ways. So I hope this tool, this tutorial uh, might help uh, make you clear 
that how this tool can help you in your study your in your analysis or in your research so thank you so much we will meet in the next video another interesting video if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you very much